So what's going on everyone, Chris of Chaos here. Today I'm bringing you guys another Call of Duty Ghost info video. In today's video, we're going to be going over all of the attachments in Call of Duty Ghost. So hopefully you guys do enjoy this video. I'm going to try to get it out to you guys before any of the bigger YouTubers. So if you guys go ahead and drop a like on this video, that'd be greatly appreciated. Also subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. I am on the road to 10K. So if you guys like to subscribe, help me out on my goal to getting there. That'd be greatly appreciated. So without any further ado, Let's go ahead and get into it. So I wanted to include pictures of all the attachments, but Activision, you know, with these last couple days coming out until Ghost, we have about eight or nine days until Ghost, but Activision has been really happy about giving channels copyright strike for using images. You know, I don't know what's going on with them, but before, you know, it was just if you use gameplay that you wasn't allowed to, then you would get a strike. But now people are getting strikes for, you know, using images and everything. So I don't want to put my channel at risk. So what I'm going to do is in the description, I'm going to have a link to all of the attachments and an article that you guys can read about it if you guys want to read up on any of the attachments that way I don't have to put my channel at risk so let's go ahead and get into them the first attachment we have is the ACOG scope you guys should know this attachment it's been in Call of Duty since COD 4 wasn't really a big fan of this I really didn't use it that much the only time I used it was in Modern Warfare 3 whenever I had to level up a gun and I really didn't have a choice in the matter or you know if I picked it up then I use it but other than that you know just willingly putting that on my gun I wouldn't do that I really hated the scope it was really really ugly and uh, it was really, really blocky and stuff. I really feel like it really, really hindered my aim. But, uh, you know, some people out there loved it. So more power to you. And then the second attachment we have is a Kimbo. You guys already know what a Kimbo is. And I don't think I need to go into depth with this. You can basically dual wield. And I think this is only going to be for secondaries. I don't think you're going to be able to dual wield SMGs like you could in MW2. Because, I mean, could you imagine someone running around with, like, a Kimbo MTAR Xs? That'd be ridiculous. But I think that's only going to be for the secondaries. I don't see them, you know, putting that in for the SMGs, like I said. The third attachment we have is armor piercing. So this is pretty much just like FMJ from previous Call of Duties. What this allows you to do is it allows you to do extra damage to Juggernaut armor and Ballistic Vest. So this is something that Modern Warfare 3 really, really needed. Would have stopped a lot of this support. So pretty much if I run into a support party, I'm going to have one of these classes you know down set ready you know just put on a gun with armor piercing rounds and that means you can pretty much cut through people using ballistic vests and juggernaut armor so i'm really happy that they're doing that you know they're taking a step towards you know countering support and everything with you know youtubers running all of that so the next attachment we have is the ballistic cpu you guys already know about this it was in black ops 2 i'm pretty sure it's going to do the same thing reduce auto sway on your sniper rifles and then the next attachment we have is the burst fire you guys know this from black ops 2 it allows you to change the mode of your weapon let's say for a three round burst you could change it to full auto and uh, for a full auto you could change it to three round burst i didn't really use this attachment that much i know when i did play a lot of league competitive scrims and stuff i did rock the an94 with select fire it was a really beast gun but i don't really see myself using it too much in this game it all depends on how good it is and then the next attachment we have is the compensator so this was an, actually an attachment that was meant to be in world at war but it was cut out of the game so pretty much what this is it is just like a bipod type thing you put it on your gun and it reduces recoil they haven't really given any more information about this all it says is that it reduces recoil and it's sort of like a bipod just looking at it you guys can look at it and let me know what you guys think and then we have extended mags you guys already know what extended mags is gives you more ammo in the clip for your gun I use this on a lot of weapons especially the ACR I really really love rocking that and then the scar and everything I love rocking extended mags on that and we also have the grenade launcher you guys already know about this if you play Modern Warfare 2 then you already know about the pro pipe and then the next attachment we have is the grip don't really have to go into depth with this you guys already know this we have the holographic sight. You guys already know this pretty much. I didn't rock that. Pretty, I don't know. I rocked it on some weapons. I tried it out occasionally on like the ACR. It was pretty good. We have the hybrid scope from MW3. It is a variable zoom. And it's like an ACOG. You guys already know what this is. It's like a ACOG and like a red dot sight. Both combined into one. And then we have the muzzle brake. And, uh, which is basically if you guys have played Battlefield 4, you guys should already know what the muzzle brake is. I don't think I really need to go too in-depth on that. And then we have the radar. So this is sort of like the heartbeat sensor. You can put it on your gun and it shows enemies on your radar. So they haven't announced yet if off the grid is going to be able to counter that. But more than likely, I think off the grid will counter that or at least uh, some other perk in the game. And then next we have rapid fire. You guys already know about rapid fire. Increase the fire rate of your gun. I really, really love using that on the PP2000. Really good attachment. We have the red dot sight. You guys already know this. Been in COD 4. Or been in Call of Duty since COD 4, really good attachment. And then the shotgun attachment is returning, which I mean I really could care less because I didn't use it unless I was going for some kind of weird or crazy moab. That was the only time I used that. 
and then next we have the silencer you guys already know about the silencer I'm rocking it right now helps you stay off the radar one thing they haven't announced yet is you know how silencers are gonna affect the gun because I know in games like MW2 and then uh, you know Modern Warfare 3 silencers really didn't make that much of a difference but in games like Black Ops 2 you could really tell the difference you know if you had a silencer on your gun or not and then we have the slug round so this is something interesting this has been an attachment that's been in Battlefield for quite a while now and basically uh, if you guys played Black Ops 2 and use the KSG, those are what slug rounds are. They allow you to shoot a lot further, but they don't have that spread that Buckshot has. So it's, I'm interested to see how this is going to work. I can see myself using this on the Bulldog, one of the shotguns, giving that gun more range. But the thing is, you lose out on spread whenever you use the uh, slug round instead of, you know, the standard Buckshot. And then we have the Tack Knife. You guys already know this. Been in Call of Duty since MW2. We have the Thermal Scope. Uh, not much to say about that. You know, it allows you to see enemies that aren't using off the grid, which I think is what is going to counter thermal sites. And then we have the tracker site. So this is one of the new attachments that they showed off in the uh, squads trailer. It's people thought it was a target finder, which is really not. The only thing I have to really compare it to would be the millimeter scanner. That would be the closest thing I could compare it to. And then we have the variable zoom. You guys already know about that. It replaces the uh, standard scope with like I think it's like a two times or three times zoom. And then the last attachment we have is the VMR site, and they haven't really given much information about this site. They just have a picture of someone picking up a gun with the VMR site on it, but they don't really give much information about the site itself. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. If you could, go ahead and smack that like button in the face. It is greatly appreciated. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video, and if you guys are new to the channel and you enjoy the content, go ahead and drop a subscription. Anyway, guys, my name is Chris Chaos. I'll see you guys in the next video. I am out of here, guys. Peace out. He dragged across the ground And he took me to the river Where he slowly let me drown Love.